What's happening guys? Welcome to the Rebel Workshop. Today's video is a wee bit of a show and tell. I'm going to show you how I put my Death Star lamp together. Now I did this back in 2016 when we were in our old house. It actually used to be up in our old bedroom. But since we moved into this house and we've got an actual workshop room, I decided to go up in here. And it looks better in here than it did in the bedroom to be honest. So this started off as an Ikea lamp. I'll pop a wee picture up here. Now Ikea still sells these so if you want to try this yourself you can do. It's quite a wee fun project. Although masking up can be a wee bit tedious. But peeling it off felt amazing. Now unfortunately I didn't take any videos of me doing this back then. I wasn't really thinking about that. But I do have some photos. So I'm going to show the photos. Show you step by step how I painted it. So let's do this! So to start with, I took all the individual panels and painted them a light grey. I then put the panels back on the frame, then masked up for the trench in the middle, then painted it black. Unfortunately, I thought the black was too dark, so I went over that again with a bit of grey um, just to lighten it up a wee bit. And here it is unmasked. After this, I did a wee mock-up of the laser dish just to see how it looked. Now, before I went on to masking up the rest of the Death Star, I looked at some inspiration and I came across these pictures of a giant inflatable Death Star that was at one of the celebrations a good few years ago. I loved the way it looked, but I noticed the top and bottom halves of the Death Star had slightly different patterns, so it wasn't exactly the same at the top as it was at the bottom. Um, I really liked that idea, so I did that myself. So I started off with a thick band around the centre, then added in some vertical lines using the panels as a guide. Then horizontal lines, a wee bit thinner tape, and even thinner tape to mark up the panels. So once I was done with the bottom, I went to the top, and I also masked up for the dish. Next step was painting. So with this paint I went with a slightly darker grey, covered it all, then went on top of that with a dust coat of black, just to give it a speckled effect. So it was then time to start unmasking. Once it was all done, it looked pretty good. And here's a wee close up, it's a wee bit hard to see, of the speckle effect. After this I used some circle guides to draw in the laser dish and the panel lines on the laser dish. I also thought that the trench didn't look quite right so I masked it up once again and added in a darker stripe around the middle. And then it was finally time to put it up in the bedroom. So a couple of weeks later I got myself a white marker pen and added in a few dots here and there just to give the impression of light shining through. Just like the real Death Star has. And this brings us up to date. And here it is in the workshop room. Alexa, Death Star Attack.
So there you go guys, that's how it was done. Once this was finished, I was so happy with it. I think it looks amazing. Not just me being biased, but I think it does look amazing. Um, just all the wee detail, the way I just splattered the black paint. Gives just the tiny wee details. Then adding these wee white dots as well has helped out. Now I could have went in and drilled holes to let the light shine through. But I can't be bothered. But there you go guys. I just wanted to show you how it was done. I hope I've inspired you to go out and give it a try yourself. As I said before, it was a bit tedious trying to mask it up. Especially when it's pretty loose. So try to tape it up and keep it solid. It was a bit of a pain. But it was well worth it. <laughs> it looks amazing. Yeah, it does. Look. So once again, guys, as always, thank you for watching. I always appreciate it. Please remember to subscribe, like, and hit that notification button. And I'll see you next time on the Rebel Workshop.